Okay, children, uh, let me do the continuation of the same uh, topic. Uh, I was in concept of electric potential and potential difference. Okay, so basically in the previous video, we understood what is potential difference. So let me just tell you, potential difference is defined actually as the amount of work done to move the unit positive test charge. What charge? A test charge from one point to another point in an what field? Electric field. Okay, but when you define potential difference between two points, so this potential definition uh, can make that one point in an electric field is considered as lower potential and another point in an electric field is considered as what higher potential now if you look at this diagram if you look at this diagram in this diagram point a where the test charge was already located okay and point b the test charge has been moved okay so if you if we see this diagram then a and b are the two points where we took the uh, test charge from a to b so we did the work but what we did the work against the what force repulsive force so in this case we define the potential difference between two points as uh, as bb minus what ba so this is bb minus what ba so if this is bb minus ba then bb the potential at b sorry is comes at higher potential and the potential at a is called what potential lower potential now why potential at a b is called higher potential because to to move the test charge from A to B, you have to do the more. You have to do more work against the what force, repulsive force, and more the work you do against the repulsive force, more the what potential. That's why B is called higher potential, A is called what potential, lower potential. But this is true when the charge, source charge, which create the field is a what charge, positive charge. If this test charge, test charge uh, if the source charge is positive charge, then this point A is called what potential, lower potential, and B is called what potential, higher potential. But it is not necessary that source charge is always a positive charge. This source charge can be a negative charge. If the source charge is negative charge, then your point A will be called higher potential and point B will be what? Lower potential. So under this case, when the source has a negative charge, the test charge, when you move from B A to B, okay, the work is to be done. The work is done by the force also. Okay, when the work is done to move the test charge by the force itself only, then that point where the test charge was placed is called a higher potential where the test charge is moved is called what potential lower potential so remember this much then if the charge is negative then a point a will be a higher potential and b will be a what potential lower potential okay now this potential difference can be measured so it is a measurable quantity so in order to measure potential difference we must require the unit so we'll come to the now and we now we we'll discuss about the unit of potential difference and this unit will be the si unit the unit of uh, SI unit of potential difference can be expressed by the same relation B equals to WAB by Q0. Okay. Now you know potential SI unit can be expressed in terms of SI unit of work done and SI unit of charge. And you know SI unit of work done is what? Joule. SI unit of charge is what? Coulomb. Then the SI unit of potential difference is called bolt. So remember this the potential difference SI unit is expressed by bolt, B O L T bolt. Okay. But suppose if the work done to move the charge from A to B is 1 joule. Suppose you did 1 joule of work to move the test charge. And that test charge is how much? Q0 or how much coulomb? 1 coulomb. So if you move a test charge of 1 coulomb from A to B by using doing the work of 1 joule, then the potential difference between the two points is given by 1 volt. That means when potential difference is said to be 1 volt, when a work of 1 joule is done in moving a test charge of 1 coulomb from one point to another point, but in what field? Electric field. Okay. Now that means B, as you know, B equals to W A B by Q naught. Now B becomes one volt equals to when a joule of work work done how much joule? One joule is done to move the test charge of how much coulomb? One coulomb. That means one B is always equals to one joule, one J by one C. That means one volt. Put this difference one volt is equal to one joule per coulomb because one by one is one it is joule per what coulomb okay so put this difference one volt is equal to one joule per coulomb that's why put this difference between two point in an electric field field is said to be defined as one volt if one joule of work has to be done in moving a test charge moving a test charge of one coulomb from one point to another point Point one point another point then in an against the what force electrostatic force or by the electrostatic force. But let me tell you whether the you do the work against the electrostatic force or 
by the electrostatic force when the potential difference is always measured between the two points but this is measured only in an what field electric field to move the test charge from one point to another point now the question arises if the test charge is moved from one point to another point in the electric field that defines the potential difference between two points then how we define the potential how we measure and define the potential at any point in an electric field so for that i'll discuss in the next video